Beauty ridiculous and I'm so good I'm shivering Hey guys, it's me Moni and I'm back with another episode of my breast reduction journey. This is in fact episode four. I did put on the same top that I wore in episode one, which was about things that you should know before getting um, the surgery, just so y'all can kind of see how much um, my boobs actually went down compared to before with the same shirt on. Um, I did say in the last episode that they took out like 533 grams. It was 530 something grams out of each boob. And if you do the calculation, it's like 400 grams in a pound. It took over a, a little bit over a pound of tissue or fat out of each breast. So, um, yeah. I'm going to change my shirt now that that visual demonstration is over just so that I don't know I don't like the idea of having the same shirt on in a different video so I'll be back all right so now that we're back this episode is about um, post-operation information that I think you guys should know so I've had three post-op appointments since you guys last saw me the first one was the day after my surgery the second one was last week and then the third one was today so in the first um, post-op surgery they took out my dreams um, which were those like I had when I was wrapped up like um there were like tubes going from like somewhere right here underneath each boot and like a grenade like a circular type of plastic thing to drain out the blood um like whatever blood might have been le leaking or left over from me having surgery so the day after they took my drains out because um every couple of hours like you're supposed to squeeze it put it in like a cup my mom wrote down um how much cc's or ml's or whatever whatever they use how much came out of each boob so that when I went back to the doctor the next day they could um, see whether or not they need to stay in or if they could take them out so my left boob uh, had stopped draining like almost completely by the time my appointment and then my right one was a little slower so it was like a little bit left so he just took them off um, my second appointment um, Oh, I have notes. <laughs> Let me get them. Underneath, I have sutures or stitches, whatever you want to call them, whatever's familiar to you, like this. And then I have stitches like going around my each nipple and then a, like a connector, like a line where they like stitch me back up, going straight down. So it stitches here, stitches here, and stitches here, right? So all of those things were taped i think except for the one going straight up and down i think i don't i don't remember if that but that had tape on top of it it was stitches and then tape so my second appointment they removed the tape from on top of the stitches and then they took out all of my like stitches i don't know how to explain it because i fully don't understand the concept but what i gather is that they stitched up like my skin and then like some was like you know how you have you ever sewed I don't know I don't know who's watching this video but have you ever sewn clothes like at the end when you're done or like knitted or crocheted when you're done you have like you tie it up so it doesn't come out and then they're like extra and then when you when I crocheted before you like tuck the extra in so that nobody sees where the end stitch is right I imagine it's the same thing for sewing and I imagine that's what happened with my skin so I think that on the ends um they were like stitches left out I guess in case they needed to like go back in like you can it's, you know where you left off so the, I don't know they ended up cutting off the ends is what I imagine because I was also trying not to pay attention because I was getting a little nauseous but they cut all cut out took out the stitches and then um they only left two on each boot right 
it felt like most of them that they took out were here i know they did take out like maybe one on each nipple i don't know how many was there to begin with but they left one on the nipple and they left one underneath so what else did i have written down from that appointment oh that was it and i wrote down and i got nauseous i don't do well with like the thought of like i don't know stuff grosses me out so i was getting grossed out you know what i'm saying i was okay though it didn't hurt so it wasn't like they were hurting me i just was like in my head i was just thinking about too much and it was it was just a lot but um yeah um now today what happened today was um they took out the so it was two here one two they left and like two somewhere down here that they left they took the ones for my nipple out today so now I only have two stitches left and then the next time I go, which is next week, they're gonna take out an extra, well, the last two stitches. Um, so today they told me I looked really good. They said that last week too. They're like, you look so good. Like you don't look like you had surgery. I'm like, what does that mean? Apparently my mom was like, they mean that, um, like I'm not all bruised up. I did have one bruise like right here, like under my armpit on my left side. I don't know why but I guess like my skin around doesn't look like I was beat up or black and blue or bruised like my uh, my skin around and I guess my swelling looks really good so that's why they're like you don't look like you had surgery I'm like what y'all looking at but yeah so that's what they mean um also disclaimer number one I think as, as I think everybody that like might get something done um I had like this picture of what it would look like afterwards. I want to let y'all know right now, you have surgery. My whole body like was bloated for a couple, like maybe uh, until a week after my surgery. Cause like you're, you went, I got put under anesthesia and then um, like your, your skin, your body has to adapt. Like it went under some changes. Things have to fall in line. Things have to like settle. So I had an idea, not that my, that they don't look bad. My boobs don't look bad. But I just had like this, like, I just thought that when I would see them, they would look like a year post-op. And that's not the case. But I just want to let y'all know that like your skin has to heal. Like the stitches have to um, come together and like dissolve or however you call it like they have to go away um my doctor told me today that where the tape was like everywhere that the tape was since it was like not holding my skin together because the stitches are holding my skin together but the tape was also holding my stitches together and was making sort of stitches don't come out of place i don't know but he was like wherever the tape is it like it's like a little wrinkly like at first and over time like in the next week or so like it, everything starts to smooth out also like um everything was swollen so the size that i was when i was done when i got home is not the like it's gonna be the size that i am in three weeks from now but also like not really because everything was like super swollen still and then it has to drop and form and all that other stuff so whatever idea you have after you get a surgery or if you're thinking about getting surgery and you're gonna be naive like me and be like afterwards it's, it's photo ready it's not the case like your body has to calm down so that was one thing that i had to learn so today he told me that i still have to contain my movements to like small stuff i'm not supposed to bend forward and grab anything pick anything up i wasn't supposed to lift anything over 10 pounds i wasn't supposed to push anything like doors or open anything like pulling i'm not supposed to do any sharp two-handed movements um but i am supposed to move my arms they said i can like comb my hair brush my hair stuff like that um i could brush my teeth and eat like stuff like this is fine but like anything higher than this i wouldn't dare do um so at the appointment today he said keep that he said basically like up to the fourth week everything is trying to like solidify but you can mess things up so even though i feel great and they keep telling me i look great it's the the time it takes to heal is the time it takes to heal so he was like you might feel fine but mm -mm. take it easy until 
I'm going to go back next week and, and then I have an appointment two weeks from then. So on that fifth week, he'll be like, all right, you can work out now. You can swim. You can like emerge your body in like pool water or ocean water. Right now, um, they told me last week. So after seven days, they told me that I could shower. Once they took that tape off um, and took most of the stitches out, they told me I could shower. So before then, I was just washing up in the sink and doing stuff like that but um he said take it easy until you get the green light he, he literally said today it's better to think you can do nothing right now than to try to do something and you wasn't supposed to do that so he said just chill out till i give you the okay and then you can do whatever you want to do um i can sleep on my side as of today he did tell me to like whatever side so i'm going to sleep on this side put my hand on my boob and then like sleep like this so that way like i don't turn over and like basically so i'm shielding my my nipple from hurting he said after 12 weeks i can sleep on my stomach so it's just side and back for him i can start shopping for bras so that's the next adventure that we're going to be on we're going to, we're not going to be in the car anymore we're not going to be in my living room the next thing y'all should see the next episode i'm going to take y'all bra shopping with me so um uh I can shop right now. They said keep the tags on everything. Then next week when I go, I'm supposed to bring all my bras that I picked out. And they told me, uh, they're going to tell me whether or not like it's good support like for me at the moment. I can wear underwire during the day, they said. Um, as long as it's not like rubbing against my, um, where my stitches are. I don't really think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to go towards like bralettes and like, like light sports bras because like, Underwise are annoying. They were annoying before my surgery. They're going to be annoying while I have these stitches. So I might as well just not wear the underwire. Um, I can wear sports bras, they said. And they said that I can, well, not can. I have to wear a bralette to sleep. It was something on the paper about like having lateral support in whatever bra I wear to sleep. So basically just not something that's going to be too loose where like the boobs can like go to the side while i'm sleeping something to like push the sides keep them in place firm like this hospital bra that i have um i think i showed y'all it's a racer back so like like it's like a sports bra kind of setup but it the the eye hooks i think they're called are in the front and not the back you know typically bras you got like the three hooks in the back i have five hooks in the front so and then the cut is like this and there's a racer back so that's the bra the they gave me two of them those are the kinds that i've been wearing but now i can wear anything well not anything because they have to check it so i can buy them keep the tags on them bring them when i go on thursday we have my appointments on thursday and then um they say whether or not those are good bras and then I can wear them. Um, yeah, so that's all my notes. I hope I didn't leave anything out, especially since first my, my memory card was full and then the battery died. So I've been kind of hopping all over the place. Um, but I will say another disclaimer, I put a little like um, a note I guess on my last video but I definitely forgot to say it in the first two videos they it has been in my description make sure that whatever you decide to do whether you get a breast reduction a, a breast implants whether you get a BBL whatever you get research the doctor that you're going to make sure that they have good reviews a good clientele make sure that they at least got one or two awards or something something that says that they're okay to be cutting up your body don't just go to anybody don't go to my doctor because they were great to me like go wherever fits for you whatever that means whatever just make sure you do your own research don't just go to anybody don't just take anybody's words whether you're watching my youtube video somebody else's do your own research do your own research it was like let's make sure this is the right doctor for me so make sure you find the right doctor for you i think and i hope i said everything i'm going to just glance at um my post-op instructions oh they also told me i could drive today now my instructions um that they gave me through my patient portal 
technically it said that after my drains came out and after I was off of um, narcotics for 24 hours that I could drive that would have been about six days ago but I haven't driven just because I, I, I just wanted to be safe then sorry um, and just wait until they verbally told me because they hadn't verbally told me until today but it was written that I technically could have driven before so um, I've been sleeping on my back uh, I've been sleeping elevated with like a back pillow uh, until they took those tapes off and until they verbally told me I did not take a shower I only washed up with a sink of, of washcloth went under my arms went under my legs I washed up in the sink do not or I did not apply any water to like my incision sites or any like anything like that until they told me, okay, your your cuts can get wet. When I was actually told that I could take a shower, I had to um, wrap myself. Well, I didn't wrap myself. My mom wrapped me in saran wrap. So like I was looking like um, booty call. If you ever seen that movie, I'm gonna try to insert a picture, but not head to toe like Jamie Foxx was. But basically, as far as the rap went, she went around me like maybe twice, maybe three times with the saran wrap. Uh, they said it was okay and expected for it to like go down the middle of the wrap, but it wasn't supposed to be like full body submerging in water. So like a little drizzle like on the top was fine, but like the rest of it wasn't really supposed to get wet. And then when I got out the shower, unwrapped myself, Pat it like I like just took the towel and like just went like this and just moved my hands around to try to pat dry like instead of I wasn't doing no rubbing scrubbing even now that I'm able to like go in the shower without the saran wrap I'm not rubbing and scrubbing I get up here and I get like my stomach and then I try to like squeeze soap so that it gets everywhere and then I like splash myself with some water but they told me it can get wet but I'm trying to well oh, they told me you can get wet, but they told me no like hard, heavy rubbing, scrubbing, none of that. So I've been just like letting it run and then splashing it off. And then everywhere else, I've been washing as normal. Yeah, so basically everything is going well. Um, when we go bra fitting, I intend on showing y'all how it looks. So today y'all got a shirt view with my gray sloan memorial hospital shirt so y'all can like compare like how small they look against the words on the shirt but then like since the bras won't be showing too much i do intend on showing y'all like underneath my clothes what they look like um yeah but i think it's going well itching i've been itching a lot like it's like i want to scratch it like because it's healing and it's like a little like irritating but still no pain um the swelling is going down it's actually kind of cool to like visibly see each day in the mirror like oh it like looks di it looks different every day it's crazy and they said that um after my next appointment i can start applying like scar creams and stuff like that but until then i'm not i'm not allowed to do that yet um so yeah every day it's starting to look different I can see like the the stitches like dissolving and everything trying to heal itself and form and stuff. It's kind of cool, but yeah, it's been a roller coaster and it's not over yet. Uh, I'm excited. Little fun, quick tidbit before I leave y'all. There was like on this boob only, right on the right one. I have my stitches going up like this and so it's like a line like a visible line like a like a closed seam right and then right next to it was like this black line like adjacent to it I'm like what is that like I'm like is it a scratch is it a scab like did they mess up like I'm, I was like what is that what is that and it wasn't until like yesterday I took a mirror like really close to my boob and I was like that line is purple <laughs> and then I went to the doctor and I was like is that the marker from when they like measure me the day of the surgery and like grow on me and she was like like yeah actually yeah that, that's the marker and she's like don't scrub it like it'll go away eventually so yeah i thought they like jacked me up and it was just the marker from when they um wrote on me and then my other video i think episode three i had like dots on my neck and my sister was like is that blood is that blood no it was the marker because he like literally took a measuring tape and like 
measured from my shoulders evenly, the center of my body even, and then went down and wrote all types of stuff. Like this, like you see on like shows and stuff like that. So I have marker everywhere and I thought I got it all off, but no, it's a little bit still on my right boob. <laughs> But as always, if you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section. Be sure to read the description box because whatever I'll be forgetting to say out loud, sometimes I just add it in there. Um, and of course, subscribe. Are you subscribed yet? If not, what are you waiting for? Like, just, just press the button. So other than that, I'll see y'all at the next episode or my next upload, whether it's breast reduction related or not. Y'all find out. And if you press the notification button, you'll know sooner than everybody else. So I'll see y'all at the next upload. That is it.